From our Twin Cities newsroom now, this afternoon, the City of Bloomington's Public Safety and Community Relations Board hosted a special meeting after failing to meet quorum two weeks ago. The topic of this meeting, Flock Safety's automatic license plate reading cameras, a tool the Bloomington Police Department is hoping to add to its tool belt, but that's pending approval from City Council. Liam Donahue joins us live from our Twin Cities newsroom tonight with what was discussed this afternoon. Liam. Mark Shelby, a lot of questions were thrown at the Bloomington Police Department's Chief and Crime and Intelligence Analysis Supervisor regarding the automatic license plate reading cameras. And while they were able to answer most concerns, there was one they agreed needed further discussion before a final vote should be taken. At Wednesday's special meeting of Bloomington's Public Safety and Community Relations Board, leaders with the Bloomington Police Department shared a presentation on the Flock automatic license plate readers. The department is hoping to acquire the tools pending approval from City Council. A concern from the public and members of the PSCRB was if the cameras would pick up images of people in addition to license plate information. Bloomington Police's Supervisor of Crime and Intelligence Analysis assured that would not be the case. It only picks up the license plate. Machine learns the license plate as alphanumeric characters and uploads it in the cloud. No other data exists in the cloud or in our system concerning the driver, race, sex, age, date of birth. Bloomington police also explained that data from the cameras are stored in a government cloud server compliant with FBI criminal justice information services and data is wiped after 30 days. 31 days comes along, that data is unavailable, i.e. overwritten and gone. Chief Jamal Simington adding, Flock safety is contractually obligated to not share or sell data. In agreement with Flock and also in their own policy, BPD cannot use data for traffic enforcement, fines, towing, or immigration enforcement. We're also prohibited by state law anyway, uh, doing most of what um, people think that there might be a violation with immigration laws and checking and investigating. Members of the board approved a recommendation for council to greenlight a contract for the cameras, but said they want external oversight into data collected by BPD. I'm talking about general data that uh, could be gleaned and reported out to boards such as ourself or any other board that was established for that purpose to make sure that there was oversight of the information that is gleaned. Bloomington police also report that 79 other agencies in the state are using this technology and have shared positive results with BPD. Now this contract is pending approval and should be on council's agenda come Monday. For now, reporting in the Twin Cities Newsroom, I'm Liam Donahue.